Alright, this video is for 1972 Ford F-150. Um, he wanted to know how to work inside your computer safely. So, let's, I'm going to go ahead and make you a video of that. Um, hope you enjoy. First of all, you want to remove your power cord from the power outlet. Your power cord right there before working inside the computer. And if needed, remove all other cables and things of that nature. First, you're going to need to find yourself an outlet or something of that nature like say an outlet over here and touch that the screw of the outlet because that is grounded so it'll ground yourself and one shock to the motherboard can ruin the whole computer and yeah you don't want that happening so after you've grounded yourself and you have your case open um, you just want to be careful of your surroundings. Um, things in here are very fragile and you need to be careful of them. Um, if you're removing memory modules like I'm showing you here, be careful with them. Try not to touch the uh, golden tabs on here. And when you're inserting them, make sure that you line it up and double check to make sure it's lined up before pressing down on one corner and the next corner. So that's how to do memory. And in this case, this computer has shared memory. Um, so two cases, uh, two different uh, memory slots. Removing PCI buses, um, things of that nature. I won't remove this one because that is the video card. But this one is a modem. Um, be careful as well. Be careful of the uh, transformers and things of that nature on the board. Try not to bend anything. And the same as well. Try not to touch the tab. And when you insert it, make sure it's lined up before you press down firmly to make sure that it's seated properly. And if you have a cover such as this computer, push that and uh, make sure that it's locked in place. Which this one doesn't want to do. Hold on. Um, as far as your CPU goes, your processors, um, be careful, especially be careful with them because they're basically almost the heart of the computer and you don't want to mess with them. Um, at all. There's really no reason to mess with them except if you're opening up your computer and cleaning up the heat sink or the fans or things of that nature. Um, your power supply is a giant box like this. Um, brings power into the computer, regulates everything, so uh, voltage spikes and things of that nature in your house current don't mess up your computer. Um, if you're, you're removing drives, um, make sure to pull the cable out. Um, most cables will have, if you're using an older style version of cable, like this. Um, not like this, which is the newer type of cable. Um, pull it out. They usually have tabs on them. And pull out the power supply. Just giving it a rocking uh, motion. And with these old Dell computers, you just pull these tabs out. And then you can uh, remove your disk drive if needed. Right here is the disk drive for this computer. There's actually two of them. But this one is a... Uh, who makes this? Uh, 2004 was manufactured, so... Made in China. But, you know, if you're cleaning off your computer, clean this off to... Um, things of that nature and the same is for putting them back in make sure the cables are out of the way but be careful not to bend your cables the wrong way or over bend them make sure you insert your whatever you've removed in the right way back into the computer and the way you know if you've got it right is it slides back in this just like this one did and replace your power cables 
and give them a firm push to make sure that they're seated properly. Um, some cables will be double connected cables such as this. So let me just show you guys. Um, such as this. So they'll have two wires coming out and things of that nature. So just be careful and aware of that. And make sure that you seat all cables that you remove properly. Um, if your computer has a floppy disk drive, um, such as this, pull the tab out like this, pull the power cable, and if needed, um, just pull out your floppy disk reader like that and make sure that you insert it back in properly make sure it clicks if you if your computer does that uh, make sure to reseat all wires and cables in the right way and if a cable doesn't want to go in don't force it in because you're just going to end up messing up the connector which is not good um, hard drives be specially careful with your hard drive. Why doesn't this hard drive have a power source? Oh, maybe it does. I just pulled it out. Um, same thing for your hard drive. Be careful with it because it has all the data of your computer stored on it. And these are one of the most, th the one things that you want to be very careful of. Um, so be very careful with your hard drives because if you mess up something then the computer won't be able to start up and programs and pictures, files and things of that nature um, will be stuck on the disk which you'll have to pay a professional to retrieve off the disk um, which can be pretty pricey so be careful, oh crap, be careful with it Make sure you put all the cables that need to go back in, back in their proper spots. Um, and make sure that if you're going to add a hard drive or floppy disk drive, that you check with your manual first and make sure that you're doing it right. But this is just standard procedure for computers. Um, make sure wires don't get caught up in your case. Um, if your case does look like this, be careful. Um, Make sure everything's seated properly and that you're being safe. Um, main power to the motherboard and this cable right here. Um, just make sure all when you're coming out to work on your computer that if you're inserting something like this one, you can insert another hard drive um, into the bay. Um, most computers allow you to do that and things of that nature. Take note if you unplug a wire and if there's two wires next year, two for hard drive, make sure you plug it back into the right one so that your computer won't get confused and bitch at you for messing it all up. Um, make sure you read the instructions if you're installing anything in the PCI buses. Make sure you're installing something if you don't have any room in your PCI bus to install what you want. So say if you don't have room, um, you can remove like a modem, which who uses nowadays, right? Um, you can remove that. And in this case, the com this computer has four PCI buses. So this computer's pretty pimping. Um, it was a 2005 edition, I think. Um, it gets moving. It's got an Intel, the uh, Intel Pentium 4 processor. Um, so it gets going when it wants to. Um, Clean out all the ports and the things in the back of your computer and just keep it clean. Um, I swear to you that if you do touch your uh, motherboard or anything of that nature and you shock it, the chances are your computer won't work again. So um, be careful when you're doing that. Um, don't open the case while the computer's on and play with things because the motherboard will have power to it and it could possibly hurt you. So, um, just want to let you guys know this and hope you enjoy this uh, 1972 Ford F-150. Uh, 
please rate, comment, and subscribe. And hope you enjoyed this video, and be safe working with your computers. Thank you.